Good evening, everyone, from the Callan Athletic Center on the campus of Cedarville University. Welcome to Yellow Jacket Basketball, and it's a rare Monday night home game for the Yellow Jackets as they play host to GMAC foe Tiffin University. My name's Mark Womack. I'll be glad to call the play-by-play, -play. and the Yellow Jackets are rolling right now. They have won nine consecutive games, improving to 16-5 and five overall, 10-1 and one in the GMAC. They sit atop the conference standings with a three-game lead. Tiffin, on the other hand, is 12 and seven overall, six and five in the league, but the Dragons have some impressive victories in their resume, even though they have dropped their last two games. This series is 50 years old, and Cedarville leads the series over Tiffin 44 to 37, and they've won the last five meetings between the two schools, and this is the only meeting of this regular season. The Yellow Jackets continue to be one of the best shooting teams in NCAA Division II, ranking number two in the country, making more than 12 three-pointers per game. It's Tiffin at Cedarville. Glad you could be with us. Hope you can stay along here on the GMAC Digital Network. Our Father, it is with great joy that we come before your throne tonight, recognizing that you are the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the God of Eternity. Father, tonight we give most thanks for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ, who can forgive sins and offer eternal life. Lord, we're grateful that we can be at a sporting event tonight and we can watch these athletes participate. I ask that they would uh, play well, that they would do to the best of their ability, and that we the spectators may enjoy this evening. We pray these things in the name of your Son, Jesus. Amen. Lob it inside, Maupmer puts it on the floor, but pushes it up and in for the first points for Cedarville. Three, skip past Sellers, open in the left corner, it's in. Cedarville's first three of the game, Ethan Sellers tracks down his own rebound. This is a real battle here, inside to Drees for the dunk. That Ruffalo will attempt one, and nothing but net, right on cue from the freshman. They kick it out to Sellers. He's open for three, and it is in. This second of the game, the sophomore from Ashland, Kentucky. Moffer, Ruffalo, and that is a timely three-pointer right in front of the tip and bench. Three spins on his man. He'll dunk it. Now has a last shot. Davis, who is 0 for 2 from three, and buries his first one here right before the halftime buzzer. And the Yellow Jackets will hope to ride the wave. Play with purpose out there. Play together. Get each other shots. This ain't a one-on-one -on -one game for us. You can drive, but you got to play off two feet. All right? You got to play through contact. If they're not going to call it. Don't worry about it. Just play through it. All right, let's go. 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 Let's and Count the basket and the foul's call. Davis tips it away. He's got it on the break and lays it in. Here's Moffmer down the lane and in and scores. And Davis, he will knock one down right on cue. His second one, he has eight. We're tied with 8.10 to go. Davis can tie it, and he does. And diving on the court to grab it is Grease, and it literally calls timeout. timeout. So that's a break for Cedarville, 30-second timeout. Outside the line, and Sellers with a step back three, buries the shot with 40 seconds to go. And there's another one on the dribble to cut things to three. Well, they're paying a lot of attention to Sellers. They'll go inside to Drees. He will dunk it. Moffmer will uncork a three and make it with 13 seconds to go. And Tiffin has pulled off the upset they as they off. outplayed Cedarville as the better team won this game tonight. Yep. Tiffin outplayed the Yellow Jackets. Yep. And now the GMAC standings get a little more curious with this result here tonight. 